Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. We're actually uh, in the same conference as we were last time after completing the first three missions. Now, I did say that uh, I thought the game would push me back to before the uh, conference, but that was actually not the case. So, that is a um, well, nice uh, surprise, I suppose. I do think it, it was like that. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm not interested in purchasing anything with only 100 prestige and some serious forces that need to be upgraded. I have the most important things already, and that just basically means that I'm, I don't really want to upgrade. There are a few things that I, I think are still good, like creating pontoon bridges, but they would cost 100 for the regular uh, army groups, and... What I would also like, for example, for the Panzer Gruppen, is to get set piece attack. That's not super necessary. I really do need to learn how good this is, though. Um, mostly the transfer steps, uh, basically. Also, not sure what level three force pull is. It's kind of silly, actually, that I don't know. Either way, uh, let's end that conference. Let's get started. First mission is going to be Pskov on June the 30th, 941. Army Group North has crushed the Red Army's northwestern front and crossed the Daugava. Greeted as liberators by large portions of the Baltic state's populations, the Wehrmacht storms forward with its eyes now set on Pskov. The Red Army, on the other hand, is reeling from the initial blow, while failed counterattacks have depleted most of its armed formations. Taking these objectives will improve the starting situation in the future scenarios. Kingi Sep, which is practically um, near Narva. So we have to go all the way up uh, to Narva during this mission at the very least. Despite your stunning drive to the Daugava, it seems the Red Army is not throwing in the towel just yet. It has even managed to mount a few rather costly counterattacks. Regardless, a few more body blows and surely the Soviets will crumble. Your next main target is Pskov, a vital supply node on the road to Leningrad. Simultaneously, your westernmost forces must continue clearing the Baltic states. Once you reach Estonia, you can even expect help from local militias. Now, this is this mission is just plain old nasty especially if you played at this stage it's just very luck dependent and uh, RNG dependent as well uh, so based on, on what the AI does so it, um, it it can certainly be a frustrating mission I would even go so far as to say that this mission is on par with the German Wacht am Rhein scenario. It's uh, to get everything that is. I mean, Wacht am Rhein itself also wasn't super hard to complete normally, but then. If you actually want to get everything it is. All right, Pskov, Parnu, Pochka, turn six. Kingis, turn eight. Ostrov, turn four. Sessis, turn four. And Tartu, turn seven. Let's go. First of all, try to go through here. Take down these guys and start moving up. It doesn't really matter what you do with those. All right, let's start moving towards this here. Kill them with these. We need to go back. I 
All right, sweet. So they also got an overrun there. Uh, yeah, so now... It's obvious as it is of that I've already played this mission before. I want uh, to go in here. So these guys will be cut off, but I still need to destroy them, obviously. And the uh, I think obvious uh, case here is that Well, uh, like I said, it's just very uh, luck dependent this mission, and uh, at can be frustrating. Let's just leave you there uh, because you'll get bad weather on one spot. That is ill suited and too bad. I should have. Put a uh, supply uh, hex there. It's not the end of the world here, but hmm. that overrun is uh, very welcoming. But I think that there is mud there, yeah, okay. This though does prevent these guys from actually moving out and well that could be quite useful. Now I think Yeah, sweet. Okay. Now these guys are pushed back and I think the AI would be hard pressed to see them They most certainly need to get a good smacking. No overrun on that one, however, really? It must be the mod, potentially. Hmm. 
Will there be... Yeah, okay. I mean, I can't do it this turn. But my hope is that through this way, they actually might be in trouble. Okay. Let's do that. I will actually attack. Uh, My biggest problem is that they can, yeah, let's do this for now. And I'll, I'll keep them there for one turn, which is not, not great. But I feel that uh, otherwise it's just gonna cut me off. which would ultimately make it useful for me to move like this. No need to attack. I'll cut them off now. And end the turn. I hope though that with the mod they might not be able to get there. Uh. Okay. Good weather, good weather, good weather, good weather. Okay. certainly attack your odds at four are a lot better so You'll be here for one more turn. Uh, so before these guys... Uh, like they can still move back, but I don't think they can cut that off anymore. Let's deploy... Uh, take Tartu. And move back. I am definitely willing to try this already. I got another unit out there. I am not surprised. before they need to to go um,
frustration then I, I suppose well this is this is fine both of these will be out of supply for three turns on the next turn which is also okay sweet The fact that they are there is actually a bit of a problem. But, uh, I'll do what I can. Funny that. Actually, uh, quite surprised that the I would even say lack of enemy units in this section. I have two more turns for Parno, so that, that should be fine. I guess these motorized units here are also the most dangerous. It, it is interesting that they put up that thing there. Now, this thing is actually the most frustrating at this stage. Because uh, it is uh, very likely to cut me off again.
Jeez, you still haven't gotten back your logistics? Ugh. Ah, uh, that, that was... Just never gonna be a thing. Um, I'm not gonna put this here because it means it's gonna be more difficult for them to to move. <clears throat> Yeah, next turn I really have to put the pedal to the metal. Turn five, it will be already. What else could I possibly do? If I... Let's do that. These, uh, these guys don't really have that much left to do, except, you know, take down, down those guys, so... Just making sure... Really don't like this guy. That's fine. And that too. Okay, even if they don't get out of the way now, I can certainly deal with it on the next turn. This is just unbelievable. <sighs> just give me a break. Like this is what I mean with the bad weather is just can just be insanity. We still don't have the logistics back. I'll say though this is pretty frustrating the fact that you know I would have been 100% fine probably had the weather weather cooperated and and now it is just uh, 
What? Oh, for God's sake. Let's go. They should block them from getting there, and what would be in here? They do have an infantry. reason why I want that is I need them to push back, be pushed back, and then now there's no nothing that can like cross over and cut the rail here. So if I now move you here, this should be fine. Need to make sure that they are in supplies too. Yeah, this uh, this mission is quite insane. Um, So there's nothing there. I don't need to hold Tartu, interestingly enough. But let's do this. Now, the only thing that could prevent me from getting King Misep is, I guess, poor weather now. But unfortunately, that could totally be a thing, so... Good weather, please. Okay, at least for the most part it is. At least for a marginal part. stuck so
I'd rather move along the road, which uh, will allow me to move a whole lot further. Yep, I already knew, or I uh, already thought that the chance that I was going to lose something like that would be exceptionally high. Um, they don't get supply from this. Oh, there's no rail line there. Huh. You don't hear me complain about that. Um, okay. So you're back. Like I said, the only thing that can stop me now is bad weather up there. Oh, snap. I completely forgot about them. Oh, jeez. Back. Wow. <laughs> Talking about dumb. Um, none of them can cross, but I'm not gonna take my chances. Good weather, good weather, good weather. Come on, please. Yes, thank you. With this being the uh, last turn, I can uh, farm all of this. For a higher score. That's it. Um, actually, no. All right. Um, that was Pskov. It's a really insane mission, I think, personally. Uh, it definitely takes some work to figure out. Um, but it's there. Either way, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time and bye-bye.